I have made the ultimate sin. I forgot his name. We have to have a name, so we have to choose a name. I'm thinking something bold. I'm feeling 90-ish right now. The hair just speaks to you. Maybe not that bold, but it's close. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Buddy Love. Bueno, mi gente, lo que vamos a hacer aquí es que vamos a separar el pelo, vamos a peinarlo un poco. Va, va, va a tener que... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm tripping. English. Okay, so we're combing, separating. The last thing you want to do here, ladies and gentlemen, is to cut the hair that it needs to be kept twisted and maintained, okay? We here have to make sure that Buddy stays happy. He's trying to develop a new look here, guys. He just started it. For those of you that aren't familiar with twist, you know, these are like starter off locks. These, these are the locks that you get when you use a comb and a little bit of wax, maybe beeswax. I don't do these things. If you think I should do this, as a matter of fact, let me know. I might just give it a try, but back to Buddy. I am a little antsy with the area that we have here to work with, guys. Okay, as we go lower and lower and lower with the guard, uh, I'm starting to realize that the areas aren't as dark as they should be. Let's focus on this side real quick. I want you to understand what's going on in my mind right now, what's going on with my hands. As you can see, my hands are doing the most. My hands are doing the most because I then realized that there's a section that isn't twisted like the previous side. Okay, so the previous side, everything's twisted. It's clear what we need to cut. Boom, we cut it. We flicker away as you should flicker away this like button. All that that we're doing is easy to do because of what's loose. And as you can see here, there's a section that's loose that I don't want to cut because if I cut this section, now we have to go higher on the other section. And guess what? We can't go higher on the other section because it's already locked. So what now do we have to do? What now? What frame of thought do we have to have, buddy? Hey, hear me out here. I don't think we should cut it, buddy. It's already bad enough I forgot your name. So I'm gonna leave this section alone. Now I can't twist, I tried. So let's turn our attention back to Buddy here. And we're fading away. We are starting to debulk to create that transition. And as I'm fading away, I'm, I'm looking at these twists and I'm just getting like old school 2016, 17 Kodak vibes. Oh, and Buddy's talking to me. And as he's talking to me, I'm like thinking to myself, what am I gonna do with this hairline? <laughs> Now, this taper, usually I say dime size, we on to a nickel now. We, we did like a nickel size ball guide line because I wanted this to burst out. But be careful because we have limited space to deal with. We have what we have. Anything past that, you're f***ed. I want you to envision this. I want you to picture this. You ever been walking with, with one of your homies, your friends, all of a sudden you didn't notice that you just walked into a freaking puddle or you are about to go outside and you hit the glass. Pretty much any type of disaster that could possibly happen without paying attention because you just go mindlessly, okay? That's pretty much what could happen if you go against the grain all the way through in a situation like this. You see the bulk, you see all this hair, you don't want your first move to be a against the grain. Now, given the fact, since I've been doing this for quite a while now, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick the one and a half. Yeah, you see it? You see the moves? Stroke, flick, go. Stroke, flick, go. Flick, flick, flick the like button, don't forget, and go. <laughs> All right, so at this point, guys, we are not going too over the top with this guideline. You know, there are times, depending on the cuts, that I might go over the top with the, uh, with the curve, with the arch, with the rainbow, with the sad face, whatever you want to call it. It's just like the taper on the sides. We have to be limited and careful with these guidelines. So after doing so, we continue on. We know now that the highest that we're going to go against the grain is the one and a half closed. And I'm pretty sure you guys noticed that I did bring out the two. That's just me being, me, me being the hairline. It's just waiting on me. Ah! But like I was saying, what was I saying? I was talking about the one and a half. I think I was. Ah, oh, forget the one and a half. Let's just keep going. No shots at Buddy whatsoever. But I want you to look at Buddy in the mustache. And I need you to look at Buddy on the beard, on the cheek. There's some work that I'm about to do right now. I need you to take a wild guess as to what that work is going to be first. Am I going to work on the beard? Will I get rid of it? Will I just keep some chin hair? What, what am I going to go for? You know, because when you look at the beard, you know, 
know, like, there's only so much that you can do, you know, and yes, there are many things that people can do nowadays to enhance, to grow. There are even surgeries. I don't know if you noticed, freaking Mayweather has a beard now. Mayweather cannot grow a beard, but guess what? Science did. I'm gonna just start working on this freaking mustache. I know what life has done to me when I didn't manage my mustache. It was so bad that I don't even have a mustache. My love life, because of the mustache I used to have, was none, okay? It was bad. I need to help Buddy out, because his name is Buddy Love right now, because we don't know his name, so we gave him Buddy Love, and with a name like Buddy Love, you gotta have a tame mustache, so let's tame the mustache. <laughs> Okay, mira, we're gonna bring out that aftershave. The aftershave will spray on some neck strips, okay? We'll wipe away. Okay, we'll wipe away. And then we're gonna grab another neck strip. Or you can use the same one, whatever floats your boat. I'm gonna spray the neck strip, rub the area, and let it dry. Let it dry. You don't have to wave your hand like me. I don't even do this. This is just an example. If you wanna blow dry with your mouth, go ahead, you little freak. Everybody come in, have a moment with me. This area will determine the success of this freaking haircut. If we fail here, we fail the whole thing. You do not want to fail this area. That's why we left this area for last. And that's why we are huddled here today. Now doing this, ladies and gentlemen, you want to be as careful as somebody trying to detonate or undetonate. You know what I'm saying, don't cut the wrong wire, just like you don't wanna use the wrong guard. We are using the one and a half, no different than what we did on the back taper, and we're going with the grain. With the grain. Now we're at the beard. And on this freaking beard, guys, Buddy wants to keep the beard. Now, I know that some of you don't really agree with what Buddy wants to do with his beard. I didn't agree with it. But my feelings, my opinions don't matter. I can suggest a few things. And there are barbers that say, well, you're the professional. You're the barber. What do they know? It's their hair. So what, what, what difference does it make? They're the ones paying our bills, guys. Buddy is out here paying my bills, guys, even though he only came one time. Pause. Buddy wants to keep his freaking beard. And guess what? We are going to line this freaking beard up like it's the most full freaking beard that you've ever freaking seen in your whole freaking life. Ah, I will use the hot towel, guys. I will use the steaming hot towel on the barbersaw. This is VIP, though. This is VIP. This is VIP. No, what the fuck am I talking about? This ain't no, 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 no. You see that? That was the moment right there. Breathe. Breathe through that heat. Yeah. So on the Jacori video, if you didn't watch Jacori, make sure you watch Jacori. It was like two videos ago. There was a comment where somebody asked, and he's from, I think, the other side of the world. He's definitely not from the US. He asked, why is it that black guys get thin mustaches? For me, whenever I got a nice little, you know, even though I don't have a mustache right now. For me, when I used to have a mustache, I felt like the thin mustache look gave me a cleaner look. There's not a lot of black guys that like having straggly mustaches. I think usually white guys are the ones that let it go, man. White guys are the ones that let, leave it bushy, and there's nothing wrong with that, man. Whatever flows your boat, white guy, it's cool. What I'm saying is that out of the, the questionnaire that I've done to my clientele, everybody says the same thing. It makes them feel more, more groomed when it's lined up and, and it's sharp and it's, you know, not left real thick and bushy and ah. We're back huddled up again. It really is go time this time. See, I thought it was go time previously, but I forgot that we need to put a little barber saw, get it prepped up, get the oils off now after we dry that area up because you can't just go straight to the lineup right after you use a hot towel. Dry it up a little bit. Whether you have a Dyson, a gold blow dryer, whatever blow dryer you have, even if you got a snow blow. I hope you don't have to though. You don't wanna do that. And if you do, make sure you chew some gum. Okay, so let's assume everything is in place. We got our trimmers, we are hitters. They're not zero gap though. We're not out here trying to slice. And we are about to start applying the pressure. Okay, now look, we know because Buddy told us, can't push him back too much. He's very particular about his lineup. He wants it to look natural. I say that lightly because, I mean, what is a lineup? 
One last confession. I forgot to record when I added color enhancement. But some of you don't like it. And I just want to say to you, I don't care. <laughs> but sadly, I didn't get the chance to record it for this video. Let's just use a moment of silence for the spray gun. And imagine me prepping him up. Getting Buddy right. Yeah, I hear it. Can you? I hear it. Yes. We're getting him right. We open our eyes. We remember how Buddy walked in. Take care of yourself and all your buddies in the world. All the buddies that you cut. And try to remember their names, okay? All their names, all their names.